Runway just released the best text to video model called Gen 3 and it's available to everyone right now. I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to use it, exactly how to create the best prompt to get the best results. So to access Runway Gen 3, just go to runwayml.com. Runway has been the leading platform for text to video for quite a while, since the very beginning with Gen 1 and with Gen 2. The latest model Gen 3 takes it to a whole new level. And to try it, you do actually have to try one of their subscription plans. And it just starts at $12 a month and you get a certain amount of credits to generate videos. And once you log in, this is what Runway looks like. And Runway has a ton of different AI tools. I think they have over 30 different types of AI tools. But we're going to focus on Gen 3. So you should see it somewhere on top over here. I'm going to get started right here. Okay, once you jump into Gen 3, you're going to see this page. Your prompt is going to go over here. And then the output is going to go on the right side. And as you generate more here, I've generated three. They're going to just keep showing up like this. So your prompt is the most important part. And right now I'm just going to delete this one because if you just start here, it's going to give you a guide. And this guide is going to take you to this prompting page, which is going to show you exactly how to prompt a runway model. And the best way to prompt Gen 3 right now is right here. This is a three step process. So you want to give a camera movement followed by establishing the scene followed by additional details. I'll show you a tool here to make it easier. I have the exact prompt for you. And then if you go down and you have no idea what camera styles and camera movements should be, this is going to give you some camera styles with the exact output Gen 3 gave it right here out of runway. So you could see some camera styles and they have a whole bunch of different things too. So they have lighting, like diffuse lighting. If you say that in your prompt, it's going to give you soft lighting like this. They have movement speed. So if you want something that's more dynamic or slow motion or hyper speed or time lapse, these are the kind of results you're going to get. So do look at this. But the other option you have, you could go to a free tool like ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT.com. I'm just going to type in this prompt that I'll include in the description and then ChatGPT will help you generate the prompts. So you are a prompt generator responsible for creating a prompt for a text to video model, Gen 3 in this case. And I give it more details, specifically what I learned from that page that Gen 3 has itself that tells us how each prompt should be structured. You have a limit of 500 characters. So I said just limit it under 400 because ChatGPT doesn't sometimes get that right. So I went on the smaller side on that. And all I have to do at the end, I have a placeholder. Simple prompt. So car race at night, that's the only prompt I had that I could have put in runway but I decided to use this instead to get a better prompt. This time I'm going to say a drone shot of a city in Italy. That's my simple prompt. And then you could see this makes it into a much better prompt. Drone shot sweeping over a city square and then describing lighting, sunlight in historic buildings, right? People enjoying outdoor cafe, vibrant. So I could copy this instead. Now let's go back to runway and type in our prompt. In this case, I'm going to paste it over here. And then you have a few options down here. This could generate videos five seconds long or 10 seconds long. Now it's going to use up your credits. So if you look up here, if I click right here, I have 380 credits. Gen 3 uses a lot of credits. So it's going to use 10 credits for one second. So 10 seconds, that's a hundred credits that I'm about to use right now. If I choose a 10 second shot, which I will, and then I could go ahead and press generate. And then over here, as soon as I press generate, it's going to show up in queue. And it typically, in my experience, it only takes like a minute. It used to take much, much longer. Other platforms take a whole lot longer than that. So this is pretty quick and already 7% done. Now, while that's going on the left side, you have a settings option, which one of the most important one is this fixed seed. If you turn this on right here, basically what a seed is, is every time you use that same number, it will create something that's similar to what you're going to get right now. So it's off by default because it's going to give you more variety. But if you want to create something in the same world, sometimes you want to turn on the seed. Or if you're creating something, a shot within one scene, you may want to keep that consistent with this option. Watermark is going to get removed with the paid plan, which we have. Resolution right now, we can't upscale that. It's at 720p. But Gen 2, for example, had an option to upscale. Custom presets, you could actually create these. So if you want to just save these type of prompts in these presets, you could do that. So then you could create similar scenes later on. 
Okay, we got the video here. Let me put it on full screen and press play. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, the drone shot looks pretty good. Some of these people, well, most of these people look like birds right now. So it didn't quite get the people right. Maybe I have a few seconds, but not quite. So that's one of the problems here with the current version of Gen 3 Alpha. Sometimes you get good results. My previous generation here that I had, I actually got decent results here. A couple of seconds maybe I could use there. Now, if you don't like it, you could reuse these same settings here and it will just put it over here. So you could generate again. And then you could also show the full prompt from here. So this is gonna show you all the different settings you had, including the final generation. You could also download it directly from here. It's gonna put it to your computer here. You could go ahead and favorite it here. And then on top, you could save as, and then create yourself different folders, like these private folders. I call this one Gen 3, and go ahead and save it there. I'll select that and save it to that. Now here's a prompt again in that format. So this is a hyper speed of a drone footage. A camera seamlessly flies through a glacier and then into the dreamy cloudscape. So that gave us something really good. So it's been kind of back and forth for me, but it is gonna be a little bit limited right now, especially if you get the cheaper plan on how much you could generate. These models are very expensive for these companies, these video generation models. So they charge accordingly right now. And as Gen 3 gets more updates, because Gen 2 had a ton of different updates like Motion Brush and all kinds of more advanced things in their settings, so I'll make updated videos on that as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.